folks rolling down the road it's day number three of uh well i'll put it to you this way there was day one and two of the bad bike and i'm saying this is day number three of the bad bike we'll see my luck may turn around i'm trying something different yet again first day i went to one part of the lake tried drifting and uh some different areas uh it didn't really produce fish i think i caught five fish second day yesterday i went to the lower end of the same lake and uh i covered a lot of water uh from the backs of creeks and about four or five feet of water all the way out to 45 feet in the main river channel fishing suspended baits above the thermocline and i i tried a lot of stuff a lot of techniques and i only caught three fish yesterday so i've got eight fish in two days so I'm thinking it's not going to be real good today either, but we'll see. Like I said, I'm going to try something totally different today. Um, what's going on? Don't really know. Um, it's extremely warm. Water temperatures are up. Um, these fish could be feeding at night. This could be a really, really good night bite. I have not been able to go night fishing because of uh, some family obligations, stuff we've got going on. I just ain't been able to get out. So. Uh, I was kind of lazy this morning getting up. It's 7 o'clock already. So. Um, but I figure if they're not biting, there's really not going to be a difference whether they bite at 7 o'clock or 9 o'clock or whatever. I noticed yesterday and the day before that the fish I did catch were toward the middle of the day, which is horrible for me fishing because it's going to be upper 90s close to 100 again today. So that's... Uh, not the most fun time, not to mention boat traffic. It is the weekend. So that's kind of where I'll stand. We'll see what happens. Uh, see if we get on any fish. And just keep digging. All right, folks, we're sitting there. I'm not going to whip a marijuana. Anyway, sitting there studying Facebook. Seeing what happened last night. My rod pulled over. There's a doper up here in the woods. Anyway. Nice blue. Let's see if we can get it in the boat. You've got another line. Battle scars. Good bite mark on that side. Look at that bite mark. That's a fish way bigger than it is biting it. It's about a 14 pound fish. That's about a bite mark from about a 30. Bag in the water. Bam, bam, hooked up on a fish. A little medium sized blue. I'm live back here, so that's why you don't see a lot of me. I'm gonna put something on the boat here. Nice little blue. Good eater size, but it's going back alive. All right, guys, sorry about that. I was doing some live stuff over here with uh, my YouTube feed and uh, caught some fish. I was trying to get that stuff on camera, so I didn't get as much here on camera, but uh, I picked off a 22 pounder. Uh, I've had an 18, and then I had that smaller one. Uh, so uh, it's, you know, I caught as many fish today though as I caught all day yesterday. So it's not on fire. There's not a lot of bites. There's not a lot of small fish biting. So uh, I'm gonna give it a little while longer here, make a move and uh, see if there's a flathead up here somewhere. I think I can get one somewhere. I'm just gonna do a little hole hop in here and see what's in here, see if I can get on a fish. Yeah, I rolled down the river trying to, another spot. I've got 
deep water on one side, shallow on the other. Let's see what's in here. Give this a sit. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock. Sit here for about an hour. See what happens. I'm gonna try one more spot then. Probably call it a day. I've got to cut my grass. I have not cut my grass. I've been putting it off and putting it off. I've been a bad boy. So uh, I hadn't planned to stay out too long today anyway. It's Sunday. There's probably gonna be some boat traffic. Uh, got a few errands to run. Spend a little time with the family. Probably done a little swimming pool action today. And uh, it'd be nice to put one more whopper in the boat before I go home. There he goes. Folks, you can't plan that kind of stuff. <laughs> Decent fish. Oh, he's staying straight down. That's a netter. I think that's a netter. Oh, 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 oh. I think that one's a netter. Alright, head coming back up. Yeah, you can't plan stuff like that. Oh, he's wrapped. I feel him. It's a horrible feeling when you get a fish wrapped with line all around it and all of a sudden the line comes wrapping off of it. Sometimes that can take the hook with it. Decent fish. Decent fish. Decent bend on that rod. It's a heavy fish. I can tell it right now, he's straight up and down, he's heavy. He's heavy. Good one. Oh, there come the bubbles. That's going to be the second burst of energy. It's a big tail. It's a monster. That's ah, the monster. Ah, come back, come back. Come back. Come back. Ah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Seriously, folks, I could not. I, I, I don't know if I catch a more, more big one than that happens. That's a big one. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. We got spawning damage from on its head there. That's a pig. That's a pig. Got one biting on some braid. Got another one biting on that rod. I think that one may be under that one. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, he's gonna make a mess. Small fish. Get out of it. Yes, sir. Got out of the tangle. He's spicy. If you're wondering, I got some braid on some of these rods. I'm trying to braid out with the planer boards. Let's see if it helps. Oh, decent fish. Not a monster. Good blue, though. We caught all blues today. Interesting. Bite mark on the back over there. Yeah. A little spawn action going on there from earlier in the year. Healing up. That's all healed up old stuff there. Yeah, nice little female fish. All right, guys, missed up on the roll there. Had one in about two feet of water, folded a rod, took off, came to the boat, ran back out to the deep water. He's not huge, I can feel it now. He's under the boat. Navigating him around some stuff. There we go. AC. That's another nice pig. Another nice one. Wow. Nice. Shaping up. It's shaping up to be a good trip. Nice one. Fish. Female. She's got some recovery from some spawning there going on. See on her back. 
get her back in the lake alive. Man, what a difference, guys. Uh, past two days been out here. Caught eight fish in two days. Five one day, three the next. You do the math, that's eight. I've caught eight today. So, definitely changing uh, where I'm fishing, what I'm doing, made a difference, both in numbers and size. It's not a lot of fish. I was hoping, I mean, I seemed like it would be, ought to be on a better, you know, 12, 14 fish day. But, uh, you know, two fish an hour kind of bite. But, uh, it's not that good. So, anyway, I'm going to, I'm gonna say this is a pretty good day with the fish I've caught put in the boat. I'm pretty happy. So, uh, hope you learned a little something from this. If you have any questions, always put them down in the comment section. Uh, there's there's no dumb question. There's a lot of stuff I overlook and take for granted that people know that they don't know. And I, I guarantee you, if you don't know it, there's 20 other people that don't know it. So throw the questions up. I love answering them. I've tried to be very good about responding to every comment and question that I get. So, uh, yeah, put them down there. If you like the channel, hit subscribe. That way you can stay up to date on all the, notif all the uh, new videos coming out. Be sure to turn on your notifications. and It'll pop, pop up on your uh, smartphone and uh, let you know when a new video comes out. And I'm doing them live. Uh, it'll also alert you to when I go live. So, uh, that way you can stay up to date on all those when they come out. So, anyway, I appreciate you watching. I really do appreciate your support. And... Uh, See you on the water.